Juventus FC Wikipedia article audio Juventus Football Club SPA, colloquially known as Juve, is a professional Italian football club in Turin, Piedmont. Founded in 1897 by a group of Turin SS students, the club has worn a black and white striped home kit since 1903 and has played home matches in different grounds around its city, the latest being the 41,507 capacity Allianz Stadium. Nicknamed Vecchia Signora, the club has won 33 official league titles, 12 Coppa Italia titles and 7 National Super Cups titles, being the record holder for all these competitions two Intercontinental Cups, two European Champion Clubs Cup and UEFA Champions Leagues, one European Cup Winners' Cup, a national record of three UEFA Cups, two UEFA Super Cups and one UEFA Intertoto Cup. Consequently, the side leads the historical Federazione Italiana Giuaco Calcio ranking whilst on the international stage occupies the fourth position in Europe and the eight in the world for most confederation titles won with 11 trophies, having led the UEFA rankings during seven seasons since its inception in 1979, the most for an Italian team. History Early Years League Dominance European Stage Second Champions League and First Supercoppa Italiana Titles Calciopoli Scandal Return to Serie A Historic three consecutive doubles and sixth consecutive league title Colors, badge, nicknames, and symbols Stadiums Supporters Club Rivalries Youth Program Players Current Squad Other Players Under Contract Out on Loan Primavera Managerial and Technical Staff Medical Staff Chairman History Managerial history Honours Domestic League Cups Founded with the name of Sport Club Juventus, initially as an athletics club, it is the second oldest of its kind still active in the country after Genoa S football section and has competed uninterruptedly in the top flight league since its debut in 1900 after changing its name to Football Club Juventus, with the exception of the 2006A Euro 07 season, being managed by the industrial Agnelli family almost continuously since 1923. The relationship between the club and that dynasty is the oldest and longest in national sports, making Juventus the first professional sporting club in the country, having established itself as a major force in the national stage since the 1930s and at confederation level since the mid-1970s and becoming one of the first ten wealthiest in world football in terms of value, revenue and profit since the mid-1990s being stocked in Borsa Italiana since 2001. European Worldwide Under the management of Giovanni Trapattini, the club won 13 trophies in the 10 years before 1986, including six league titles and five international titles, and became the first to win all three competitions organized by the Union of European Football Associations, the European Champions Cup, Cup Winners' Cup and UEFA Cup. With successive triumphs in the 1984 European Super Cup and 1985 Intercontinental Cup, it became the first and thus far only in the world to complete a clean sweep of all confederation trophies 
an achievement that they revalidated with the title won in the 1999 UEFA Inter Toto Cup after another successful era led by Marcello Lippi, becoming in addition the only professional Italian club to have won every ongoing honour available to the first team and organised by a national or international football association. In December 2000, Juventus was ranked 7th in the FIFA's historic ranking of the best clubs in the world and nine years later was ranked 2nd best club in Europe during the 20th century based on a statistical study series by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics, the highest for an Italian club in both. Club Statistics and Records Contribution to the Italy national team The club's fan base is the largest at national level and one of the largest worldwide. Unlike most European sporting supporters groups, which are often concentrated around their own club city of origin, it is widespread throughout the whole country and the Italian diaspora, making Juventus a symbol of anti-Campanilismo and Italianita. The club has also provided the most players to the Italy national team, and different groups of its players have led the 8 Surrey squad to international success, most importantly in the 1934, 1982 and 2006 FIFA World Cups. Juventus were founded as sport club Juventus in late 1897 by pupils from the Massimo Diazelli Lyceum School in Turin, but were renamed as football club Juventus two years later. The club joined the Italian football championship during 1900. In 1904, the businessman Ehman Marsan revived the finances of the football club Juventus making it also possible to transfer the training field from Piazza di Armi to the more appropriate Villadrome Umberto I. During this period, the team wore a pink and black kit. Juventus first won the league championship in 1905 while playing at their Villadrome Umberto I ground. By this time the club colours had changed to black and white stripes, inspired by English side Notts County. There was a split at the club in 1906, after some of the staff considered moving Juve out of Turin. President Alfred Dick was unhappy with this and left with some prominent players to found FBC Torino which in turn spawned the Derby della Mole. Juventus spent much of this period steadily rebuilding after the split, surviving the First World War. Fiat owner Eduardo Agnelli gained control of the club in 1923 and built a new stadium. This helped the club to its second Scudetto in the 1925A Euro 26 season, after beating Alba Roma with an aggregate score of 1-2A Euro 1. The club established itself as a major force in Italian football since the 1930s becoming the country's first professional club and the first with a decentralized fan base, which led it to win a record of five consecutive Italian championships and form the core of the Italy national team during the Vittorio Pozzo's era, including the 1934 World Champion squad, with star players such as Raimundo Orsi, Luigi Bertolini, Giovanni Ferrari and Luis Monti, among others. Juventus moved to the Stadio Comunale, but for the rest of the 1930s and the majority of the 1940s they were unable to recapture championship dominance. After the Second World War, Johnny Agnelli was appointed honorary president. The club added two more league championships to its name in the 1949A Euro 50 and 1951A Euro 52 seasons the latter of which was under the management of Englishman Jesse Carver. Two new strikers were signed during 1957A Euro 58, Welshman John Charles and Italian Argentine Omar S. Avori, playing alongside longtime member Guy Ampier Robonaperti. 
That season saw Juventus awarded with the Golden Star for sport excellence to wear on their shirts after becoming the first Italian side to win 10 league titles. In the same season, S. A. Vora became the first ever player at the club to win the European Footballer of the Year. The following season, they beat Fiorentina to complete their first league and cup double, winning Serie A and Coppa Italia. Bonaparte retired in 1961 as the all-time top scorer at the club, with 182 goals in all competitions, a club record which stood for 45 years. During the rest of the decade, the club won the league just once more in 1966A Euro 67. However, the 1970s saw Juventus further solidify their strong position in Italian football. Under former player Ayo Eastma Arvik Balek, they won the Scudetto in 1971A Euro 72 and 1972A Euro 73 with players such as Roberto Bettega, Franco Casio, and Josa Copyright Altafini breaking through. During the rest of the decade, they won the league twice more, with defender Gaetano Sierra contributing significantly. The later win was under Giovanni Trapattini, who also led the club to their first ever major European title in 1977 and helped the club's domination continue on into the early part of the 1980s. During Trapattini's tenure, many Juventus players also formed the backbone of the Italy national team during Enzo Berzot's successful managerial era, including the 1978 World Cup. UEFA Euro 1980 and 1982 World Champion squads. The Trapattini era was highly successful in the 1980s and the club started the decade off well, winning the league title three more times by 1984. This meant Juventus had won 20 Italian league titles and were allowed to add a second golden star to their shirt thus becoming the only Italian club to achieve this. Around this time, the club's players were attracting considerable attention and Paolo Rossi was named European Footballer of the Year following his contribution to Italy's victory in the 1982 World Cup, where he was named Player of the Tournament. Frenchman Michel Platini was also awarded the European Footballer of the Year title for three years in a row in 1983, 1984, and 1985, which is a record. Juventus are the only club to have players from their club winning the award in four consecutive years. It was Platini who scored the winning goal in the 1985 European Cup final against Liverpool but this was marred by a tragedy which changed European football. That year, Juventus became the first club in the history of European football to have won all three major UEFA competitions and, after their triumph in the Intercontinental Cup, the club also became the first, and thus far, the only in association football history, to have won all possible confederation competitions an achievement that it revalidated with the title won in the 1999 UEFA Inter Toto Cup. With the exception of winning the closely contested Italian Championship of 1985A Euro 86, the rest of the 1980s were not very successful for the club. As well as having to contend with Diego Maradona's Napoli, both of the Milanese clubs, Milan and Internazionale, won Italian championships. However, Juventus did win a Coppa Italia, UEFA Cup double in 1990 under the guidance of former club legend Dino Zoff. In 1990, Juventus also moved into their new home, the Stadio del Alpi, which was built for the 1990 World Cup. Despite the arrival of Italian star Roberto Baggio later that year for a world record transfer fee, the early 1990s under Luigi Mayfredi and subsequently Trapattini once again also saw little success for Juventus, 
as they only managed to win the UEFA Cup in 1993. Marcelo Lippi took over as Juventus manager at the start of the 1994 Euro 95 campaign. His first season at the helm of the club was a successful one, as Juventus recorded their first Serie A championship title since the mid-1980s, as well as the Coppa Italia. The crop of players during this period featured Ciro Ferrara, Roberto Baggio, Gianluca Violi, and a young Alessandro Del Piero. Lippi led Juventus to their first Supercoppa Italiana in the Champions League the following season, beating Ajax on penalties after a 1-A Euro 1 draw in which Fabrizio Ravinelli scored for Juventus. The club did not rest long after winning the European Cup more highly regarded players were brought into the fold in the form of Zinedine Zidane, Filippo Inzaghi, and Edgar Davids. At home, Juventus won the 1996A Euro 97 and 1997A Euro 98 Serie A titles, as well as the 1996 UEFA Super Cup and the 1996 Intercontinental Cup. Juventus reached the 1997 and 1998 Champions League finals during this period, but lost out to Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid respectively. After a two and a half season absence, Lippi returned to the club in 2001, following his replacement Carlo Ancelotti's dismissal, signing big name players such as Gianluigi Buffon, David Trezeguet. Pavel Nedvadi and Lilian Thuram, helping the team to two more Scudetto titles during the 2001A Euro 02 and 2002A Euro 03 seasons. Juventus were also part of an all Italian Champions League final in 2003, but lost out to Milan on penalties after the game ended in a 0A Euro 0 draw. At the conclusion of the following season, Lippi was appointed as the Italy national team's head coach, bringing an end to one of the most fruitful managerial spells in Juventus history. Fabio Capello was appointed as Juventus coach in 2004 and led the club to two more consecutive Serie A titles. In May 2006, Juventus became one of the five clubs linked to a 2006 Italian football scandal the result of which saw the club relegated to Serie B for the first time in its history. The club was also stripped of the two titles won under Capello in 2005 and 2006. Many key players left following their relegation to Serie B, including Lillian Thuram, star strikers Leighton Ibrahimovia and defensive stalwart Fabio Canavero. However, other big-name players such as Alessandro Del Piero, Gianluigi Buffon, David Trezeguet, and Pavel Nedvati remained to help the club return to Serie A, while youngsters from the Primavera, such as Sebastian Giovinco and Claudio Marchigio, were integrated into the first team. Juventus won the Cadetti and gained promotion straight back up to the top division as league winners after the 2006A Euro 07 season, as captain Del Piero claimed the top scorer award with 21 goals. As early as 2010, Juventus considered challenging the stripping of their Scudetti from 2005 and 2006 dependent on the results of trials connected to the 2006 scandal. Subsequent investigations found in 2011 that Juventus' relegation in 2006 was without merit. When former general manager Luciano Magai's conviction in criminal court in connection with the scandal was thrown out by an appeals court in 2015, the club sued the Italian Football Federation for a 443 million for damages caused by their 2006 relegation. FIGC President Carlo Tevucchio offered to discuss reinstatement of the lost Scudetti in exchange for Juventus dropping the lawsuit.
After returning to Serie A in the 2007-A Euro 08 season, Juventus appointed Claudio Ranieri as manager. They finished in third place in their first season back in the top flight and qualified for the Champions League third qualifying round in the preliminary stages. Juventus reached the group stages, where they beat Real Madrid in both home and away legs, before losing in the knockout round to Chelsea. Ranieri was sacked following a string of unsuccessful results and Ciro Ferrara was appointed as manager on a temporary basis for the last two games of the 2008-A Euro 09 season, before being subsequently appointed as the manager for the 2009-A Euro 10 season. Ferrara's stint as Juventus manager, however, proved to be unsuccessful with Juventus knocked out of Champions League and Coppa Italia, as well as just lying on the sixth place in the league table at the end of January 2010, leading to the dismissal of Ferrara and the naming of Alberto Zaccaroni as caretaker manager. Zaccaroni could not help the side improve, as Juventus finished the season in seventh place in Serie A. For the 2010-A Euro 11 season, Jean-Claude Blanc was replaced by Andrea Agnelli as the club's president. Agnelli's first action was to replace Zaccaroni and director of sport Alessio Secco with Sampdoria manager Luigi Del Neri and director of sport Giuseppe Morata. However, Del Neri failed to improve their fortunes and was dismissed. Former player and fan favorite Antonio Conti, fresh after winning promotion with Siena, was named as Del Neri's replacement. In September 2011, Juventus relocated to the new Juventus Stadium. With Conti as manager, Juventus went unbeaten for the entire 2011-A Euro 12 Serie A season. Towards the second half of the season, the team was mostly competing with northern rivals Milan for first place in a tight contest. Juventus won the title on the 37th match day after beating Cagliari 2 a Euro 0 and Milan losing to Internazionale 4 a Euro 2. After a 3 a Euro 1 win in the final match day against Atalanta, Juventus became the first team to go the season unbeaten in the current 38 game format. Other noteworthy achievements included the biggest away win, best defensive record in Serie A and second best in the top six European leagues that year. In 2013 a Euro 14, Juventus won a third consecutive Scudetto with a record 102 points and 33 wins. The title was the 30th official league championship in the club's history. They also achieved the semi-finals of Europa League, where they were eliminated at home against 10-man Benfica S. Catanaccio, missing the final at the Juventus Stadium. In 2014-A Euro 15, Massimiliano Allegri was appointed as manager, with whom Juventus won their 31st official title, making it a fourth straight, as well as achieving a record 10th Coppa Italia for the double. The club also beat Real Madrid in the semi-finals of the Champions League 3 a Euro 2 on aggregate to face Barcelona in the final in Berlin for the first time since the 2002 a Euro 03 Champions League. Juventus lost the final to Barcelona 3 a Euro 1 after an early fourth-minute goal from Ivan Rakitic, followed by an Alvaro Morata equaliser in the 55th minute. Then Barcelona took the lead again with a goal from Luis Sua Rez in the 70th minute, followed by a final minute goal by Neymar as Juventus were caught out on the counter-attack. On December 14, 2015, Juventus won the Serie A Football Club of the Year award for the 2014-A Euro 15 season, the fourth time in succession. On April 25, 2016, 
the club won their fifth straight title since last winning five straight between 1930 a Euro 31 and 1934 a Euro 35, after second place Napoli lost to Roma to give Juventus mathematical certainty of the title with three games to spare, last losing to Sassuolo on October 25, 2015, which left them in 12th place before taking 73 points of a possible 75. On May 21, the club then won the Coppa Italia for the 11th time and their second straight title, becoming the first team in Italy's history to complete Serie A and Coppa Italia doubles in back-to-back -back seasons. On May 17, 2017, Juventus won their 12th Coppa Italia title in a 2A Euro 0 win over Lazio. Four days later on May 21, Juventus became the first team to win six consecutive Serie A titles. On June 3, 2017, Juventus reached a second Champions League final in three years but were defeated 1A Euro 4 by defending champions Real Madrid A Euro a stampede in Turin happened 10 minutes before the end of the match. Juventus have played in black and white striped shirts, with white shorts, sometimes black shorts since 1903. Originally, they played in pink shirts with a black tie. The father of one of the players made the earliest shirts, but continual washing faded the color so much that in 1903, the club sought to replace them. Juventus asked one of their team members, Englishman John Savage, if he had any contacts in England who could supply new shirts in a color that would better withstand the elements. He had a friend who lived in Nottingham, who being a Notts County supporter, shipped out the black and white striped shirts to Turin. Juventus have worn the shirts ever since, considering the colors to be aggressive and powerful. Juventus's official emblem has undergone different and small modifications since the 1920s. The previous modification of the Juventus badge took place in 2004, when the emblem of the team changed to a black and white oval shield of a type used by Italian ecclesiastics. It is divided in five vertical stripes, two white stripes and three black stripes, inside which are the following elements, while in its upper section the name of the society superimposed on a white convex section, over golden curvature. The white silhouette of a charging bull is in the lower section of the oval shield, superimposed on a black old French shield and the charging bull is a symbol of the Commune of Turin. There is also a black silhouette of a mural crown above the black spherical triangle's base. This is a reminiscence to Augusta Turin Aurum, the old city of the Roman era which the present capital of Piedmont region is its cultural heiress. In January 2017, President Andrea Agnelli announced the most recent change to the Juventus batch revealing a video showing the introduction of the new badge. The badge shows the word Juventus on top, with two capital JS shown together in different fonts with a small opening between them to almost make a bigger J. Agnelli said that the badge reflects the Juventus way of living. Juventus was the first team in association football history to adopt a star who added one above their badge in 1958 to represent their 10th Italian football championship and Serie A title, at the time and has since become popularized with other clubs as well. In the past, the convex section of the emblem had a blue color and, furthermore, its shape was concave. The old French shield and the mural crown, also in the lower section of the emblem, had a considerably greater size with respect to the present. The two golden stars for sport excellence were located above the convex and concave section of Juventus' emblem. During the 1980s, the club emblem was the silhouette of a zebra, to both sides of the equide's head 
the two golden stars and, above this badge, forming an arc, the club's name. Juventus unofficially won their 30th league title in 2011 a Euro 12, but a dispute with the FIGC, who stripped Juventus of their 2004 a Euro 05 and 2005 a Euro 06 titles due to their involvement in a 2006 Italian football scandal, left their official total at 28. However, they elected to wear no stars at all the following season. Juventus won their 30th title in 2013 a Euro 14 and thus earned the right to wear their third star, but club president Andrea Agnelli stated that the club suspended the use of the stars until another team wins their 20th championship, thus having the right to wear two stars, to emphasize Juventus' superiority. However, for the 2015 a Euro 16 season, Juventus reintroduced the stars and added the third star to their jersey as well with new kit manufacturers Adidas, in addition to the Coppa Italia badge for winning their 10th Coppa Italia the previous season. For the 2016 a Euro 17 season, Juventus redesigned their kit with a different take on the trademark black and white stripes. For the 2017 a Euro 18 season, Juventus introduced the J-shaped logo onto the kits. In September 2015, Juventus officially announced a new project called J-Kids for its junior supporters on its website. Along with this project, Juventus also introduced a new mascot to all its fans which is called JJ is a cartoon design zebra black and white stripes with golden edge piping on its body, golden shining eyes, and three golden stars on the front of its neck. J made its debut at Juventus Stadium on September 12, 2015. During its history, the club has acquired a number of nicknames, La Vecchia Signora being the best example. The old part of the nickname is a pun on Juventus which means youth in Latin. It was derived from the age of the Juventus star players towards the middle of the 1930s. The lady part of the nickname is how fans of the club affectionately referred to it before the 1930s. The club is also nicknamed La Fidanzata d'Italia because over the years it has received a high level of support from southern Italian immigrant workers, who arrived in Turin to work for Fiat since the 1930s. Other nicknames include, Madama, I Bianconeri, Elie Zebra in reference to Juventus colors. Igobi is the nickname that is used to define Juventus supporters, but is also used sometimes for team's players. The most widely accepted origin of Gobi dates to the 50s, when the Bianconeri wore a large jersey. When players ran on the field, the jersey, which had a laced opening at the chest, generated a bulge over the back, making the players look hunchbacked. The official anthem of Juventus is Juve, or Juve in English, written by Alessandra Torre and Claudio Guidetti in the version of the singer and musician Paolo Belli composed in 2007. In 2016, a documentary film called Black and White Stripes, the Juventus story was produced by the La Villa brothers about Juventus. On February 16, 2018, the first three episodes of a docu-series called First Team, Juventus, which followed the club throughout the season, by spending time with the players behind the scenes both on and off the field, was released on Netflix, the other three episodes are set to be released in summer 2018. After the first two years, during which Juventus played in the Parco del Valentino and Parco CIT Adela, their matches were held in the Piazza di Armi Stadium until 1908, except in 1905 and in 1906, years in which it played at the Corso Ridumberto. 
From 1909 to 1922, Juventus played their internal competitions at Corso Sebastopoli Camp before moving the following year to Corso Marsiglia Camp, where they remained until 1933, winning four league titles. At the end of 1933, they began to play at the new Stadio Mussolini Stadium inaugurated for the 1934 World Championships. After the Second World War, the stadium was renamed as Stadio Comunale Vittorio Pozzo. Juventus played home matches at the ground for 57 years, a total of 890 league matches. The team continued to host training sessions at the stadium until July 2003. 1934 FIFA World Cup, Gian Piero Combi, Virginia Rosetta, Luigi Bertolini, Felice Borel IIA Degree, Umberto Caligaris, Giovanni Ferrari, Luis Monti, Raimundo Orsi, and Mario Varglian IA Degree, 1938 FIFA World Cup, Alfredo Fanai and Pietro Rava, 1982 FIFA World Cup, Dino Zoff, Antonio Cabrini, Claudio Gentile, Paolo Rossi, Gaetano Saira and Marco Tardelli, 2006 FIFA World Cup, Fabio Canavero, Gianluigi Buffon, Mauro Kamer Anessi, Alessandro Del Piero and Gianluca Zambrata. Financial Information Shirt Sponsors and Manufacturers Notes Bibliography Books other publications From 1990 until the 2005 A Euro 06 season, the Torine SS side contested their home matches at Stadio del Alpi, built for the 1990 FIFA World Cup, although in very rare circumstances the club played some home games in other stadia such as Renzo Barbara at Palermo, Dino Manazzi at Cesena and the Stadio Giuseppe Misa at Milan. In August 2006, Juventus returned to play in the Stadio Comunale, then known as Stadio Olimpico, after the restructuring of the stadium for the 2006 Winter Olympics onward. In November 2008, Juventus announced that they would invest around a $120 million to build a new ground, the Juventus Stadium, on the site of Del Alpi. Unlike the old ground, there is not a running track and instead the pitch is only 7.5 meters away from the stands. The capacity is 41,507. Work began during spring 2009 and the stadium was opened on September 8, 2011, ahead of the start of the 2011A Euro 12 season. Since July 1, 2017, the Juventus Stadium is known commercially as the Allianz Stadium of Turin for six seasons until June 30, 2023. Juventus are the best supported football club in Italy, with over 12 million fans or tifosi, which represent approximately 34% of the total Italian football fans according to a research published in September 2016 by Italian research agency Demos and Pi, as well as one of the most supported football clubs in the world, with over 300 million supporters, particularly in the Mediterranean countries to which a large number of Italian diaspora have emigrated. The Torin SS side has fan clubs branches across the globe. Demand for Juventus tickets in occasional home games held away from Turin is high, suggesting that Juventus have stronger support in other parts of the country. Juventus is widely and especially popular throughout mainland southern Italy, Sicily and Malta, leading the team to have one of the largest followings in its away matches more than in Turin itself. Juventus have significant rivalries with two clubs. 
Their traditional rivals are fellow Turin Club Torino and matches between the two side are known as the Derby della Mole. The rivalry dates back to 1906 as Torino was founded by breakaway Juventus players and staff. Their most high-profile rivalry is with Internazionale, another big Serie A club located in Milan, the capital of the neighbouring region of Lombardy. Matches between these two clubs are referred to as the Derby d'Italia and the two regularly challenge each other at the top of the league table, hence the intense rivalry. Until the Calciopoli scandal which saw Juventus forcibly relegated, the two were the only Italian clubs to have never played below Serie A notably, the two sides are the first and the second most supported clubs in Italy and the rivalry has intensified since the later part of the 1990s, reaching its highest levels ever post Calciopoli, with the return of Juventus to Serie A. They also have rivalries with Milan, Roma, Fiorentina, and Napoli. The Juventus youth setup has been recognized as one of the best in Italy for producing young talents. While not all graduates made it to the first team, many have enjoyed successful careers in the Italian top flight. Under longtime coach Vincenzo Chiarenza, the Primavera squad enjoyed one of its successful periods, winning all age group competitions from 2004 to 2006. Like Dutch club Ajax and many Premier League clubs, Juventus operates several satellite clubs and football schools outside of the country and numerous camps in the local region to expand talent scouting. The youth system is also notable for its contribution to the Italian national senior and youth teams. 1934 World Cup winner Gian Piero Combi 1936 gold medal and 1938 World Cup winner Pietro Rava, Giampiero Bonaparte, Roberto Bettega, 1982 World Cup hero Paolo Rossi and more recently Claudio Marchigio and Sebastian Giovinco are a number of former graduates who have gone on to make the first team and full Italy squad. Note Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Note, flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Source, Juventus.com Source, Juventus.com Juventus have had numerous chairmen over the course of their history, some of which have been the owners of the club, others have been corporate managers that were nominated by the owners. On top of chairman, there were several living former chairmen, that were nominated as the honorary chairman. Below is a list of Juventus managers from 1923, when the Agnelli family took over and the club became more structured and organized, until the present day. Italy's most successful club of the 20th century and the most successful club in the history of Italian football. Juventus have won the Italian League Championship, the country's premier football club competition and organized by Lega Nazionale Professionisti Serie A, a record 33 times and have the first two record of consecutive triumphs in that tournament. They have also won the Coppa Italia, the country's primary cup competition, a record 12 times thus becoming the first team to retain the trophy successfully with their triumph in the 1959A Euro 60 season and the first to win it during three consecutive seasons. In addition, the club holds the record for Supercoppa Italiana wins with seven, the most recent coming in 2015. Overall, Juventus have won 63 official competitions, 
more than any other team in the country, 52 domestic trophies and 11 official international competitions, making them, in the latter case, the second most successful Italian club in European competition. The club is fourth in Europe and eighth in the world with the most international titles won officially recognized by their respective association Football Confederation and FA Copyright de Copyright Ration Internationale de Football Association. In 1977, the Taurine SS side become the first in Southern Europe to have won the UEFA Cup and the first a Euro and only to date a Euro in Italian football history to achieve an international title with a squad composed by national footballers. In 1993, the club won its third competition's trophy, an unprecedented feat in the continent until then and the most for an Italian club. Juventus was also the first Italian club to achieve the title in the European Super Cup, having won the competition in 1984 and the first European club to win the Intercontinental Cup in 1985, since it was restructured by Union of European Football Associations and Confederacia Superscript 3 and Sudamericana de Fadagri T-Ball S Organizing Committee five years beforehand. The club has earned the distinction of being allowed to wear three golden stars on its shirts representing its league victories, the tenth of which was achieved during the 1957A Euro 58 season, the twentieth in the 1981A Euro 82 season and the thirtieth in the 2013A Euro 14 season. Juventus were the first Italian team to have achieved the national double four times in the 1959A Euro 60, 1994A Euro 95, 2014A Euro 15 and 2015A Euro 16 seasons. In the 2016A Euro 17 season the club won the Coppa Italia for the 12th time, and their third straight title, becoming the first team in Italy's history to complete Serie A and Coppa Italia doubles in three consecutive seasons. The club is unique in the world in having won all official confederation competitions and they have received, in recognition to winning the three major UEFA competitions a Euro first case in the history of the European football and the only one to be reached with the same coach a Euro the UEFA plaque by the Union of European Football Associations on July 12, 1988. The Torine SS side was placed 7th a Euro but the top Italian club a Euro in the FIFA's century ranking of the best clubs in the world on December 23, 2009 years later was ranked 2nd best club in Europe during the 20th century based on a statistical study series by International Federation of Football History and Statistics, the highest for an Italian club in both. Juventus have been proclaimed World's Club Team of the Year twice and was ranked in third place a Euro the highest ranking of any Italian club a Euro in the all-time club world ranking by the IFS. Alessandro Del Piero holds Juventus' official appearance record of 705 appearances. He took over from Gaetano Saira on March 6, 2008 against Palermo. He also holds the record for Serie A appearances with 478. Including all official competitions, Del Piero is the all-time leading goalscorer for Juventus, with 290 a Euro since joining the club in 1993. Guy Piero Bonaparte who was the all-time top scorer since 1961 comes in second in all competitions with 182. In the 1933A Euro 34 season, Felice Borel scored 31 goals in 34 appearances, setting the club record for Serie A goals in a single season. Frank Herzer is the club's highest scorer in a single season with 35 goals in 26 appearances in the 1925A Euro 26 season. The most goals scored by a player in a single match is 6, which is also an Italian record. 
This was achieved by Omar S. Avori in a game against Internazionale in the 1960 Euro 61 season. The first ever official game participated in by Juventus was in the third federal football championship, the predecessor of Serie A, against Torinesa in a Juventus loss 0 a Euro 1. The biggest ever victory recorded by Juventus was 1-5 a Euro 0 against Cento, in the second round of the Coppa Italia in the 1-9-2-6 a Euro 27 season. In terms of the league, Fiorentina and Fiumana were famously on the end of the Juventus' biggest championship wins, both were beaten 1-1 a Euro 0 and were recorded in the 1-9-2-8 a Euro 29 season. Juventus' heaviest championship defeats came during the 1911A Euro 12 and 1912A Euro 13 seasons, they were against Milan in 1912 and Torino in 1913. The signing of Gianluigi Buffon in 2001 from Parma cost Juventus a 52 million, making it the most expensive transfer for a goalkeeper of all time. On March 20, 2016, Buffon set a new Serie A record for the longest period without conceding a goal in the Derby della Mole during the 2015 A Euro 16 season. On July 26, 2016, Argentine forward Gonzalo Higuaín became the third highest football transfer of all time and highest ever transfer for an Italian club when he was signed by Juventus for a 90 million from Napoli. On August 8, 2016, Paul Pogba returned to his first club, Manchester United, for an all-time record for highest football transfer fee of a 105 million, surpassing the former record holder Gareth Bale. The sale of Zena copyright Dine Zidane from Juventus to Real Madrid of Spain in 2001 was the world football transfer record at the time, costing the Spanish club around a 77.5 million. Overall, Juventus are the club that has contributed the most players to the Italy national team in history being the only Italian club that has contributed players to every Italy national team since the second FIFA World Cup. Juventus have contributed numerous players to Italy's World Cup campaigns, these successful periods principally have coincided with two golden ages of the Turin club's history, referred as Quinquenio d'Oro, from 1931 until 1935, and Ciclo Legendario from 1972 to 1986. Below are a list of Juventus players who represented the Italy national team during World Cup winning tournaments. Two Juventus players have won the Golden Boot Award at the World Cup with Italy, Paolo Rossi in 1982 and Salvatore Shalassi in 1990. As well as contributing to Italy's World Cup winning sides, Two Juventus players Alfredo Fanai and Pietro Rava, represented Italy in the gold medal winning squad at the 1936 Summer Olympics. Three Juventus players represented their nation during the 1968 European Football Championship win for Italy, Sandro Salvadore, Ernesto C. A. Stano and Giancarlo Barcellino. The Torinesa club has also contributed to a lesser degree to the national sides of other nations. Zena copyright Dine Zidane and captain Didier Deschamps were Juventus players when they won the 1998 World Cup with France, making it as the association football club which supplied the most FIFA World Cup winners globally. Three Juventus players have also won the European Football Championship with a nation other than Italy, Luis del Sol won it in 1964 with Spain, while the Frenchman Michel Platini and Zidane won the competition in 1984 and 2000 respectively. Since June 27, 1967, 
Juventus Football Club has been Associata Parisiani and since December 3, 2001 the Torino SS site is listed on the Borsa Italiana. As of December 31, 2015, the Juventus shares are distributed between 63.8% to EXORNV, the Agnelli family's holding, 5.0% to Lincel Train Limited and 31.2% to other shareholders. As of July 5, 2016, Lincel Train Limited increased its holding to 10% and then EXORS.P.A decreased to 60.0%. Since 2012, Jeep became the new sponsor of Juventus a car brand acquired by Fiat after the 2000s global financial crisis. Along with Lazio and Roma, Juventus is one of only three Italian clubs quoted on Borsa Italiana. Juventus was also the only association football club in the country member of Star, one of the main market segment in the world. However, Due to 2011 financial results, Juventus had to move from the star segment to MTA market. The club's training ground was owned by Campi Divanovo S.P.A, controlled by Juventus Football Club SPA to 71.3%. In 2003, the club bought the lands from the subsidiary and later the company was dissolved. Since then, Juventus has not had any subsidiary. From July 1, 2008, the club has implemented a safety management system for employees and athletes in compliance with the requirements of International OSIS 18001-2007 regulation and a safety management system in the medical sector according to the International ISO 9001-2000 resolution. The club is one of the founders of the European Club Association which was formed after the dissolution of the G14, an international group of Europe's most elite clubs of which Juventus were also a founding member. According to the Deloitte Football Money League, a research published by consultants Deloitte Touche Tomatsu on January 17, 2014, Juventus are the ninth highest earning football club in the world with an estimated revenue of a 272.4 million, the most for an Italian club. The club is also ranked ninth on Forbes' list of the most valuable football clubs in the world with an estimate value of 850 million US dollars, making them the second richest association football club in Italy. Juventus recapitalized on June 28, 2007, increasing a 104,807,731.60 of share capital. The team made an aggregate net loss in the following seasons, a Euro A9 27,569, a Euro A20,787,469, Net income A6,582,489 and net loss A10,967,944. After an unaudited A43,411,481 net loss was recorded in the first nine months of 2010 A Euro 11 season, the board of directors announced that a capital increase of A120 million was planned scheduled to submit to the extraordinary shareholders meeting in October. Eventually, the 2010 a Euro 11 season net loss was a 95,414,019. In the 2012 a Euro 13 season, Juventus continued to recover from recent season's net losses thanks to the biggest payment in UEFA's Champions League 2012 a Euro 13 revenue distribution, earning a 65.3 million. Despite being knocked out in the quarter-final stage, 
Juventus took the lion's share thanks to the largest of the Italian national TV market and the division of revenues with the only other Italian team making the competition's final phase, Milan. Confirming the trend of marked improvement in net result, the 2013 a Euro 14 financial year closed with a loss of a 6.7 million, but with the first positive operating income since 2006. In the 2014 a Euro 15 season, by the excellent sports results achieved, net income reached a 2.3 million. Compared to the loss of a 6.7 million last year, 2014 a Euro 15 showed a positive change of a 9 million and returned to a profit after six years since 2008 a Euro 09.